Hey there, Pokemon Pip. Nobody else knows the acoustic kind here, bringing another Pokemon there to Wi Fi battle. This is going to be an NU tier battle. I don't recall who the opponent was. Sorry, so I'm not going to be able to link them like I normally would. But my link will be in the description if you would like to see more additional content from me. This is going to be with a special NU team I developed where I'm going to post every single battle I have with it on my channel, no matter how bad I win or lose and my viewers get a really natural experience with it and they can tell me fixes and I'm going to leave my team information in the description of all my videos on my channel. If that sounds like something interesting to you, feel free to stop by. So I'm just going to go ahead and go for the Stealth Rocks, not really afraid of his Snover. While he sets up a substitute, normally I don't see um, Snovers being subseeders. I mean, Leech Seed is pretty common, but for some reason you don't really see it in conjunction with Substitute because of how slow Snover is. So I need something to take the Leech Seed, can't really go into my Sweepers. So I'm going to have to go into my Pelipper because it does have recovery, and Pelipper is a freaking boss, the OP news. So I'm going to take the Leech Seed, and I have Roost, obviously, and I also have the Air Slash being a stab, super effective move, so it's easily going to be able to break through the Substitute and um, hopefully force a switch from this guy. But more importantly, it's going to make him have to sub up, uh, allowing me to go into a uh, counter without having it already been leech seated. So that is my game plan here and I'm going to switch out into my uh, Mag Mortar, Chew on Fire, uh, another One Piece, all of these actually have so far been One Piece uh, reference names. So anywho, I'm going to take some hail damage and all that cool stuff and he's going to opt to switch out here, go straight into his Sharpedo predicting the fire move. So he was correct, I did go for the fire move. And it's going to still do a hefty, hefty chunk because Sharpedo has freaking piss poor defenses. He's what's known as a glass cannon. And in conjunction with the hail, he's pretty much going to get freaking raped. So I'm going to switch out into the OP news knowing that uh, Sharpedo is faster than Magmortar and I'm not Scarfed. I'm actually Expert Belt. So yeah, uh, I predict the water type attack, which is pretty obvious, so Pelipper can easily resist it. And Pelipper is a freaking monster, so he's going to take this crunch and uh, just roost off all the damage. So, you mad, bro? And all that cool stuff. So let's see what my opponent chooses to bring in here. Maybe we'll get a good look at their team and see if they have some sort of sweeper or something. And all these after turn effects are such a bitch. But no, it's going to be the famous Stallreen, uh, for, those of, for those of you that have played NU. So I'm going to go for Toxic, knowing I can outspeed. Um, which pretty much would put an end to this set, but I'm going to miss the Toxic. So I'm kind of speeding this up here because no one wants to see Stallreen in action at normal speed because that is just no fun. So he's going to go for a Blizzard and in conjunction with the Hail is going to finish me off, so la 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 gay. Going to go into my Choice Specs Espeon, uh, hoping I can put an end to his Stallish Terror. And it's going to do a good freaking chunk considering how much uh, bulk... Uh, stall Reen or just Wall Reen in general has. So my opponent's going to make some good plays using some Protect to get back uh, a lot of health because of the ability Ice Body, which heals 1 16th in freaking Hail. So he's going to go into a Slow King to resist the Psychic, which was a good play on his part, and even Choice Specs is not going to do Jack Diddly Balls. Um, I've noticed that not much of his team benefits from the Hail, except for, you know, just Walreen and his lead. So, anywho, that's relevant. I'm going to switch out into my special Wall Lights Out. Um, because it does have Heal Bell and Wish, it's the uh, event move, Slicky Licky. And I know that I can fire off a Toxic on him, and he won't be able to stall me, and he won't be able to kill me, because I'm a special Wall. So his Surf and Psychic won't do Jack Diddly Balls. So I'm just going to go ahead and go for the Toxic while he switches out into something inappropriate to say. And yeah, it's really actually nice to get Toxic on this thing too, in conjunction with the Hail Damage he's going to be taking a lot. And his only form of recovery is Recover. But the, tox the Toxic Poison will be stacking up. So yeah, I just went for the Heal Bell to get rid of the Toxic. And now that he sees that, he's probably not going to be too comfortable staying in. Although for some... Well, at least I wouldn't be too comfortable staying in. But for some reason, he is. So he's going to go for Encore, and that reveals why. But uh, the thing is, I really want my Licky Licky to be back at max health so I can handle that Slow King later. So I'm just going to go for a Wish, knowing I won't do Jack Diddly anything at all. Why do I keep saying that? Just so that I get frickin' um, my life back up. If you didn't notice, I sped this part up a little bit too because, yeah, using like four wishes or whatever the heck I use, three, four wishes, um, don't think you want to watch that in normal speed either. And that frickin' hail is just, 
yeah, it makes the battle longer. So he's going to take a good deal uh, from Toxic, and I'm going to go into my Espeon, confident that I can take an Earthquake or a Waterfall, and then just get the Wish to reheal my health. I'm not going to take it quite, quite, quite as well as I thought I would, but I am going to still live with a hefty chunk after the Wish, which is awesome for me. And now we're back in normal speed here, um, although there's still a lot of after turn effects going on. The Toxic Poison is going to wear him down incredibly. So I know that at this stage, a Signal Beam will be enough to take out the Quagsire, so I'm going to predict a switch to a Psychic Resist um, and just go for a Signal Beam. And he actually doesn't. He just goes to a Noctowl, which is too bad, because I could have 2 KO'd this thing with Spec Psychic, because um, I do know that. And that's um, all fine and dandy for me. So I'm going to have to switch out here. I got the Confusion Hacks, which is really lucky. So I go to Chew on Fire to uh, abuse that. And unfortunately for him, he's going to hit himself, which means he's going to take Confusion Damage, Hail Damage. And I'm easily going to be able to outspeed him here. So I'm just going to go for an Expert Belt Thunderbolt. Um, I'm not sure what exactly he thinks my item is here, but he should know that I'm not Scarf since I didn't stay in on Sharpedo. Although, I could have been fearing the Aqua Jet, so hopefully he will think I'm Scarfed, actually. That's usually what this Magmortar does, is bluff the Scarf. And he hit himself in Confusion again, which uh, really sucks for him. And I'm just going to go for a Thunderbolt at this stage, because, uh, yeah, I can hopefully take out the Slowbro because of the Expert Belt, and I do. So I don't know why he brought in that instead of bringing in Quagsire, um, especially if he thought that I was choiced. But at this stage, I'm just going to go for the Flamethrower. And even not very effective is going to easily take him out. My hidden power is actually hidden power water, not HP grass. So that's why I didn't do that. And my last move is Focus Blast, which I didn't want to have to deal with the shaky accuracy. So he's going to bring in this thing, just go for Protect to get a little bit more hail damage and get a little bit lefties recovery. But I am going to be able to finish him off with a Stab. Flamethrower, so that is going to... Wait, is that going to be a good game? I think he has one more poke. Do, 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 do. Yes, the wall reading that no one likes to see. So I am going to be able to finish him off with a Thunderbolt after he protects for God knows what reason just to uh, let us glance at his banana fangs for just an incy bit longer. So whew, that was a good game, dude. Uh, if you guys want to see more of this NU team, you can check out my channel. I'm posting all the battles with it, whether they be wins or losses, uh, no matter how it goes. It's pretty fun. Love to hear my viewers' input, so if that sounds fun to you, stop by. Um, if you want to help Pokemon Mosh Pit, leave a like. It also helps me. Peace out, Mosh Pit. Have a good one. Deuces.